Hi everyone. Today is August 7th, 2012. Finally in August in the last couple weeks stretch here. I am as of today 39 weeks or 38 weeks and 4 days. So I'm in week 39. I am I am still measuring about a half a week to a week ahead. Um but everything is looking normal. I've had several nights of false um, false labor, uh, practice contractions, um, painful Braxton Hicks contractions, however you want to name it. I've had several nights where I've had hours of very timeable, regular contractions, and I really um, didn't get too excited and went to the hospital or anything like that, but um, basically I just realized it was practice ones. Um, my little rule of thumb is if I fall asleep, because that's usually when it happens at night, and they wake me up, then maybe it's something real. If they don't wake me up, then I'm probably just practicing and my body's getting ready. I do feel ready. I have um, everything ready in the house for her arrival. I physically feel ready. I'm tired and exhausted and um, uncomfortable. I have a lot of pain and sciatic nerve pain, um, pain in my hips, sleeping is two hours at a time, and it's getting quite uncomfortable at this point, um, which is very common for this stage in pregnancy. Um, other than those symptoms, um, there really hasn't been a whole lot, of, whole lot different. I, my appetite is pretty good. Um, I still have cravings for spicy foods and then sweets. Spicy foods and sweets, spicy foods and sweets. I think it balances out though. Um, <laughs> Cause uh, except that the heart, you know, the spicy foods will give you heartburn and, uh, and then the sweet kind of settles it for me. So I'm lucky in that case. So I have to have my dessert, you know, after a spicy meal. So it um, settles me down. Um, weight gain, um, it's a little scary. I My goal was not to go over 170. I didn't want to gain more than 15 pounds and I thought I would be able to accomplish that because I had only started gaining at like 28, 30 weeks. But once I started gaining, I started gaining slowly and then all of a sudden I started gaining a ton, um, like more than two pounds a week, which is what's recommended. I started gaining like four pounds for the last couple weeks and right now I'm about 173 right in there give or take depending on the day but I have had a lot of digestive issues that could cause um, inaccurate weight readings however my doctor's not concerned with weight gain it's still between 15 20 pounds and I'm it's fine that's you know it's way better than what I did with my previous pregnancy with Evan um, <laughs> I gained like 50 or 60 pounds with him and then continued to gain after I had him. And I don't want to go back to that, especially since I was losing weight so rapidly before and having a more healthy lifestyle. And granted, I did kind of throw out the healthy lifestyle when I um, probably around my end of my first trimester and started giving in to my cravings and whatnot. But, um, I intend to go back on the metformin after Maddie is born and to get back to my normal eating habits once I have better control over my body and my hormones and emotions and whatnot that um, make it very difficult to, to uh, do my cravings. Plus I'll be more active once I get back to work. I mean, right around that time is when I did stop working, and I wasn't as active. I have a very physical job, you know, so that could also hinder into the weight gain. Um, but really, weight gain is great. It's 15, 20 pounds, which is awesome. That's right on target for my BMI and everything. Um, let's see here. As far as news, um, the last couple appointments have been every week. And um, at my 36 week appointment, they did the groupie strep. Um, the next week, I found out that it was positive. Now, that was a bit disappointing for me because I was not positive with my son. And this time, I had the intentions of laboring at home as long as possible. 
knowing that I do have uh, a history of quick labor and deliveries um, in the family and and with Evan's induction it went very quickly uh, we knew that we probably wouldn't live very long at home anyways but now with being GBS positive and being the antibiotics it's just I have to go over and as soon as I feel that I'm in real labor and it's um, measurable and um, the real deal and I'm starting to get uncomfortable um, so that is a little bit of change in plans as far as um, wanting to labor at home and use comfort measures here and then pick them with me to the hospital after a while towards towards when I think it's getting towards transition um, before it gets too painful of course for the car ride. Um, so we'll have to go in a little earlier and um, pack up things a little sooner and deflate my ball and pack it all up and go and I'm, I'm okay with that now. I know that I can make my hospital room the environment that I want to. The hospital is very flexible with that. In between um, Domingo and my doula Sandra, we'll be able to make it more of like a home-like environment, I hope. And I'll just try to do my best to use the relaxation methods that I've learned to block out the fact that I'm not at home, um, that I'm in somewhere different and just kind of focus into what I need to do when that's have this baby. I'm really, really excited and a little nervous, um, but more excited. I really just want to get things going and meet her and get this journey off the ground. And, you know, it's, it, at this point it kind of feels like it's gone by very fast, but then again it's like, oh my gosh, you know, been nine months and I can't wait to meet her. So my official due date is on the 17th. That's what we're going by as far as the doctor's concerned. Um, but since I am measuring ahead and know that my conception due date would be the 15th, so it's within those couple days, which would make sense to why I measure just a little bit ahead. And um, so I intend to just allow labor to come on naturally for my birth plan. Um, however, if I do go past my due date, I find it very tempting to go ahead and schedule induction about a week or so after my due date. Um, my induction before went out with them and went really well. The only difference this time is I wanted med free and I know that's not possible when you are inducing. Um, but there are some other options as far as certain types of induction methods that are maybe a little less medicine-y, I suppose, that are available to try, like just doing Cervidil and seeing how that goes if I do go over. Um, but I didn't think I'd make it this far. I thought I'd like around 38 weeks that I would go. Um, that's when I start a lot of my pre-labor symptoms. And um, so it could be any time now. I mean, I may not have another video until she's born the labor and delivery video, I do intend to, do, to get as much footage as I can and it kind of is, you know, play as we go along. Let me show you my belly. I feel as though she has definitely dropped. She's very low and engaged in all those good things. Um, a lot of back and hip pain from her weight. She, her movement has kind of slowed down now. She's just kind of stuck in there. She rolls around a lot. As far as um, slight movements, you can feel um, elbows and maybe feet, or knees. I don't know what they are, but. little jabby bones here and there on the sides, but she is definitely head down. My next appointment is on Thursday, and I will be um, a full 39 weeks on Friday. And they're going to check me then at my uh, 38 week appointment, or 37 weeks I think. Um, 
when they did the groovy straps of 36. Um, I wasn't dilated at all. They couldn't get a finger in there, she said. Um, which, so, which means like less than one. But I think with all the practice contractions that I've had, that there has to be some sort of improvement. And I really feel that with all the aches and pains, that there's definitely something going on in there. My body is definitely getting ready. It feels like it could be any minute and I'm ready for it. And Domingo's ready for it and we're very excited. It's just a waiting game. And it's hard waiting after nine months and you get down to the last couple weeks. And it just feels unbearable. Like, I really have to wait. You know, you never know when it's going to happen. And for someone like Wayne Self who likes to be in control of of things that happen in life, it's um, not always easy to be patient, especially when you're waiting for such a wonderful gift. So I think that's about it. Let me check my notes here. Um, Oh, also this um, past few weeks, I did have a doula appointment where she came and gave me a prenatal massage, and that was wonderful. I, um, last Friday, went with my sister, and we got pedicures, and I've got pretty purple toes, so I'm ready for the hospital for runway. I, and then Domingo went and installed the car seat, and then we're going to have that inspected when we find out where we go for that. I think they do it at the hospital there, or you can take it to the police station, a couple different places I think you can get it done. Um, and I did post my nursery, bit, my nursery setup, newborn setup video uh, a couple of days ago. And um, so yeah, that's all set. House is deep cleaned and um, our hearts are just overjoyed and excited and nervous and scared about uh, waiting to, uh, labor to start. And when I does start, I intend to turn the camera on and update and go from there. I have a phone list for um, friends and family for my sister to call and notify those who wanted to be notified that I was in labor and that it was close to baby time. Um, other than that, I plan to keep the birthing experience pretty quiet and intimate. And just my sister, Domingo, and my doula. Um, probably be around during labor and delivery, and um, me and my friend Andrew who's also expecting if she doesn't already go into labor first. So yeah, that's about it. Um, 38 weeks and four days. Almost there. Less than two weeks till my due date. What a blessing. All right.